again, welcome back. Thank you for watching. On today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I do my unicorn horn inspired nail. Um, so on this video, the camera angling is not the best throughout, so I do apologise, but you can see and get the general gist of how I, how I do it and, and I hope it helps. So I do my my tip my nail tip in uh, three sections because it is so long i just do thin layer a, th a thin layer small beads of glitter bells unicorn tears just to cover the whole nail in purple i've done it purple because i did purple on a set of nails the other day and it looked really nice so i thought i'd just show you guys how i did that so i've done my thin layer of unicorn tears I then take my Glitter Bells Glass Slippers Clear Acrylic Powder. I just dip my brush tip very slightly into the pot uh, to get a, a very fine line of acrylic powder on the very tip of my brush. And I start at the bottom and work my way up. So as you can see, I just put it on as a line and I'm just neatening up the edges of that line so it is just a swoop across the nail. Again, I've done it there neating up them edges <clears throat> we do come back and reshape it later so i'm just sort of getting the initial shape and i go up each section it doesn't matter about the gap between it can be smaller it can be bigger but that's just how i've done it on this nail it obviously varies depending on the length of the nail on on the person you're doing so again go in get a small line of acrylic on my brush just drag that across you can't really make a mistake with this because of the kind of nail it is as long as you get that bump on it to create the the horn effect if you like then then you'll be fine so just do that all the way up the nail and I, I do it starting at the low on the left and when I drag it across to the right I raise it so it's as if it's spiraling round sorry that the camera angle is so bad like can you see the nail can you not no you can't at the minute so the lines across the nail as well, I do do, I start them off thick when I start them on the left and as I'm dragging it across the nail, I sort of pull it into a point and then when I'm neatening up the edges of that with my brush, I pull it into a point. It's so that it looks like it is, it is spiralling around, so it starts thick as if it's coming from the back and goes into a point as if it's going round the back again. So I, I've gone back in now so just neaten that up so to define the bumps because I will be going in with a file just a little bit after. So I've gone back in now, defining them bumps, defining, defining that point and just neatening it up, making sure I wipe the middle, the gap between the two bumps to make sure there's no excess acrylic there because I want it to be as flat as possible in the middle and I want it to be as raised as possible on the bump. So I'll go back onto every single one, just raising that slightly, filling in any gaps or dips in the acrylic, just making sure that it's nice and defined. Just make sure you do keep wiping in between with your brush to get rid of any excess acrylic because you don't want any raises that shouldn't be there. Your acrylic on the, on the base of the nail should be nice and flat and then the bump should be nice and raised. Okay, so that bit's done. I'm happy with the base. I'm happy with the bumps. I'm happy with the shape. So I'm just going to take a small bead of clear acrylic powder, wipe it all the way down the left of the nail and just drag it across to the right. Just neatening it up, neatening up them bumps and the base again. And then I drag it back from right to left just to make sure it's all smooth and just to thicken that nail slightly. So I'm just going to file those three edges, just neatening up the edges 
I don't want to take too much off the actual bumps themselves, so I'm just neatening up slightly. The camera angle while I'm filing is so, so bad. Like, it's there one minute and then it's gone the next, but it is so hard to file a nail on camera and try and keep it there. So it does disappear, but I basically tidy up the free edges and then I file those gaps in between the bumps just again to define them bumps again. I don't really file the bumps, I just file the free edge and I file in between. <clears throat> so I'll just wipe over with some cleanser to remove any excess dust and go in with my Glitter Bells No Wipe Top Coat. I'll paint the whole nail and then I drag from left to right in between them bumps just to make sure that there's no excess gel polish because it will make the nail clumpy, it could make it sticky and things like that. So I wipe from left to right, make sure there's no excess and just cap the edges and put it in my lamp for 99 seconds. So I've done it for 99 seconds because I am going to be going in with my Magpie Beauty. Um, I think it's called Shelly. I'll get the name and put it in the description, but I think it's Shelly. It's a unicorn powder just to make that horn super shiny a bit pearlescent and just make it overall look unicorny. So I've got this brush, I'm not sure what the brush is either, I'll find out for you and put it in the description. I just lift the brush up, uh, lift the pot up onto the brush, sorry, and just get a small amount of powder. A little goes a long way with this kind of powder. And then I just rub it in, cover the whole nail, make sure it's totally shiny. Dust off any excess and then just again go in with your top coat just to cap that unicorn powder in. But as you can see it makes it really shiny, it's got a sheen on it, in a different light it's pearlescent, it just makes it stand out that little bit more. Obviously when you're top coating just go in between them bumps again so you're not filling them gaps. But yeah, that's how I do my unicorn nail, obviously everybody has their own ways of doing it but that's just how I do mine. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and if you've not already, subscribe and there'll be more and more tutorials coming soon. Thank you.